Hey YouTube, thought I'd show you something cool I've been working on for a customer. This is a 1959 Stitchell Carlson C105. It has uh, the unitized chassis. Just give you a close up of the emblem there, that's kind of cool looking. This was uh, an early all modular TV. It uses a 17 inch picture tube. Uh, this one was kind of a, a mess. When I got it, uh, it had been submerged. Uh, there was a lot of corrosion and rust on parts of the chassis. And uh, thankfully the transformer didn't get wet. But I took it apart and I dried out the chassis. Uh, it looked like it had been rained on or something for a long time. The tuner was all rusted. It was just kind of a mess. And ultimately, I had to bypass the tuner and the IF strip because it was just so far gone, none of the IF cans would tune, uh, the tuner wouldn't align properly, it just was terrible. And so what I ended up doing was, is I simply made an audio video composite input, and I took the uh, video signal and went directly to the grid of the video amplifier, and then I uh, <clears throat> initially took the sound, and went to the grid of the audio uh, amplifier tube, not the output tube, the audio amplifier tube, but it still wasn't quite enough for volume. Uh, so then what I did was I stuck an LM386 uh, little preamplifier in series with the grid of the amplifier tube to boost it a little bit. Uh, the original speaker had been rotted away uh, from water damage so I had to kind of make something work and relocate the output transformer. Uh, but it's alive. The customer is just going to use it to display old TV shows in her shop. So this is really all it has to be is an AV monitor. Uh, let me just uh, spin it around real quick here so we can take a look at the back. And you can see here I just took the old antenna panel and I put some uh, jacks in it and wired up some coax right in there. The tuner's disconnected, the IF's disconnected. It's just the two tubes there are the sound, and then you've got your sweep and everything else there. Uh, the OPA transformer was relocated here. It used to be on the speaker. I don't know if you can see the little 2x3 speaker there I mounted there with some brackets from an SL1200 turntable. It's kind of crazy, but it works. Behind the lamp, is the LM386 board. You can buy those for about five bucks on eBay. They're kind of handy. But uh, yeah, uh, this also fell when it was shipped to the owner, so I had to straighten out the chassis, put a new fuse holder in. I had to straighten out the cabinet. I mean, this thing was really just kind of a mess. But as a composite monitor, it has a really nice picture. I'm really kind of surprised. It's got good detail, good video response. It's very stable. It doesn't run hot. And it's just kind of cool to look at. If you just step back a little bit, it's one of those 50s space age type things. So I just thought I'd share with you guys. Uh, I had footage on uh, the repairs on this thing, but unfortunately they were with my last camera that took a dump. And the card got corrupted, so I couldn't get anything off of it. Uh, which is a shame because this was kind of a, a crazy repair restoration type thing. But anyway, uh, so now we've got video and we've got fairly ample volume. Thousands of syringes used in these injections have been recalled due to serious... So it's, it works. The tuner is just there for looks. Pretty cool. Nice bright picture too. Strong CRT on this one. Well anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video. More stuff to come soon.